One thing that you need to do a lot of times uh, when you're developing a Drupal site, especially if it's a Drupal site where you're, you're going to have logged in users or you have pages with lots of things on it, is you need to profile your code to see if there's any hot spots of, of parts that are slow or parts that are called a lot that you shouldn't be. Or, or even you can test if your, your hard drive or uh, parts of your system might be slowing down your code base. Um, Drupal VM is uh, a, a VM for letting you do local Drupal development, and it has a lot of tools built into it to help you with that. One of the tools uh, that's been in, in it from the beginning, basically, is XHProf. XHProf is a profiler that was built by Facebook to help you to profile your code. The problem is that after about PHP 5.6, Facebook never really updated it, and they kind of abandoned it because they use their own other tools now. Uh, there were a couple forks that started gaining some steam, but they kind of petered out. And now that we have PHP 7.0 and 7.1 and beyond, uh, it's time that we move on to some other tool uh, and another fork that's much better maintained. And, and luckily, there's a company called Tideways, uh, and I'll go there right now, tideways.io. They have taken on the extension's maintenance. They basically renamed it to Tideways, and now they have the uh, open source extension in their care, they also have a service online called Tideways.io where you can aggregate your production and, and other environment uh, data from this extension, but you don't have to use that if you don't want. And Drupal VM actually installs Tideways along with the XHProf graphical user interface so that you can uh, check your profiling directly on your computer. So that's one of the many features Drupal VM has. It has Tideways, it has Blackfire, which is similar to Tideways online service. But doesn't let you allow uh, does but doesn't allow you to see your profiling locally. It also includes XHProf. If you're using an older version of PHP, you can still use it. But Tideways is basically a drop-in replacement for XHProf. And there's documentation on uh, the Drupal VM website for how to use Tideways, how to get it set up. If you go here, it says you can enable the installed extra, and then you can use the XHProf module or the Tideways module to do some profiling. And we're going to use the XHProf module because we want to be able to see the profile runs locally using the XHProf UI. So I already have a Drupal VM instance set up, and, and all I did was uh, added this config.yaml file. The first thing you need to do is add Tideways to the installed extras. I don't need anything else, really. I'm, I'm going to leave some other utilities I use in there. And then another thing that I did was I added XHProf as one of the composer dependencies so that Drupal installs it. And then I also added it to the array of modules that will be enabled automatically. So I provisioned this VM a few minutes ago. And if I say Vagrant up, it's going to bring it back up. Uh, I don't have to reprovision it again. But if you're adding it in, you can say Vagrant provision, and it will, it will add in uh, Tideways and XHProf's UI. But in this case, I'm just going to bring up the existing VM and once it's up, I'm going to go to uh, drupalvm.dev, waiting for it to boot up. And now that it's booted up, I should be able to go to the site and log in as an admin. And then I can go to enable the xhprof module on the extend page. You can also do this via Drush if you want, but in this case, since I'm showing it to you uh, live, it's a little easier just to go in here and go to XHProf, and it actually looks like it is enabled because I had it here. Um, if you don't have it in here, then you'd have to go in here and enable it. Uh, but the next step to getting XHProf working is to click Configure, and on the Configuration page, you can turn on the profiling of page views. By default, it doesn't do this because it has a very slight performance impact uh, inside of Drupal. So I'm going to check that box and say use the Tideways extension because that's the, that's the extension on the system that, that PHP is using. And then it lets you do things like exclude uh, profiling from certain paths. Uh, it, you can also say only profile every 10th page load, something like that. And I'm going to check the CPU and memory checkboxes. That way I can see what my PHP processes are doing in terms of CPU time and in terms of memory usage. If I click Save, it'll save that configuration, and from this point forward, I'll be able to profile all my other page requests. So I'm going to go back to the home page, and now that XHProf is enabled, you can see there's this new link at the bottom. 
And if I click on it, it will take me to the XHProf admin page where I can see a table of all of the results for that particular page load. So this, this page load of the home page has a, a particular ID and I can see that it took 461 milliseconds. The CPU time was 330 milliseconds and then there was some wait time as well. It also tells me how many times functions were called. This is useful to see if you're doing something and all of a sudden your function calls go up double or triple, then you know that you might be doing something in a loop that might not be a very good thing. Um, and this, this interface is fine. It's, it's good for seeing some quick stats, uh, but I actually like using the XHProf UI. So I'm gonna open a new tab and go to xhprof.drupalvm.dev. And uh, this, is a, this is a subdomain that Drupal VM automatically adds. It adds it to xhprof.whatever your site name is. And in this case, I'm using the default, so it's drupalvm.dev. And it has all the runs that are saved by the xhprof module. And so if I click on this, you can see that it's the exact same ID as the uh, run was inside of Drupal. If I click on it, it gives me the much more uh, advanced interface. And here I have the same basic stats up here, but, but the cool thing is now I can start doing things like filtering. I can say how much time was spent in this particular function. So if I click on here, I can see that PDO statement is, is the uh, class that, was, that the most time was spent in, and that's a database function. So I know that Drupal is spending a lot of time waiting for the database to load. If I were to load this page again and get it from cache, this, this function might ha spend less time. Uh, and I can also see that some other uh, functions like the APC class loader, load class, file m time, is file, some of these functions take a long time in the, the initial page load. That's because in Drupal VM, since it's using NFS for the Drupal application and it's a shared folder, it spends a lot of time scanning all the files. Uh, and this is important too to know about if you have your, your uh, software running on infrastructure where you have slow disk access or where you have NFS for your shared Drupal code base or if you have situations where there's distributed file systems, this is a quick way to see, am I spending a lot of time when I load a Drupal page on file system access or is time spent more in database access or is time spent more in rendering, those kind of things. So this is really helpful for that. Another really cool thing is you can click this view full, call, view full call graph link. And this usually takes a little time, especially in Drupal 8 where there's uh, a lot more function calls. It takes some time to build this graphic, but the graphic will let you drill down and see visually every function's connection to every other function. And it gives you a visual indication also of what functions uh, Drupal spends the most time running. So I'm gonna wait for it to load here. Sometimes it takes a, you know 30 seconds to a minute to be able to generate this graphic. And you can also see that my processor is going crazy right now trying to build it. Um, but once it comes up, I'll, I'll zoom in and, and show you some of the neat things that it gives you. You can see that even the browser had a little trouble rendering that because it's such a large file. From a zoomed out view, it might be really hard to see what's going on here. On my 4K monitor, I can, I can almost make out some of the text, but it's so small. But even at this distance, I can see that there are certain parts of the code path when Drupal renders a page that are slower than others. Some of these outliers only take a few milliseconds, but some of these yellow indicated uh, functions take a lot longer. And then the red function is something that takes a really long time. So let's zoom in and see. This red function is that one that I showed you at the top, the PDO statement. This means that Drupal's spending a lot of time making database calls. Uh, and, and that might be an indication that we could optimize our database access, either through the application or tweaking MySQL to be a, a little bit faster. You can see, though, if I follow this path, you can see the way that Drupal builds the entire web page. If I follow this large gray line, you can see that it's pulling information out of the database and then it takes that information and it brings it into the twig templates and renders it so that you can uh, see the content on your website. So it's, it's nice uh, to be able to go through this whole file and see visually you know, what's going on in your code base. So that's, that's how XHProf works, uh, the, the UI along with the Tideways extension. And you can find out more about it in the Drupal VM documentation. And if you have any questions about it, please feel free to ask anything or uh, 
get any bugs fixed in the Drupal VM issue queue on GitHub. <laughs>